In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a one-way ANOVA. And once you have your data in, you simply go down to the Analyses tab and select ANOVA. And here I want to see if there are differences in the distance run by the amount of fatigue. Hit Calculate. Here the assumptions of ANOVA are preloaded. Here we use a QQ plot to evaluate normality. You simply scroll over the plot to see whether it looks more normal or not normal. Did it with homoscedasticity. Simply scroll over to see if it looks more homo or heteroscedatic. We have an outlier analysis. And then here are the results. The results of the ANOVA were significant, okay? So anything less than P less than 0.05 is significant. Okay. The uh, eta squared is 0.50, okay? And then you have an APA-like table. Next, we can see those with low fatigue have high running distances, moderate, a little bit less distance, and high fatigue, uh, lower distances run. So once the ANOVA is significant, then we want to do a post hoc test. So the post hoc test really compares the distance run between low and moderate, low and high, and moderate and high. And here we can see that we did a two key pairwise comparison, okay? The main effect of fatigue, the distance uh, in miles for low was significantly larger than for moderate, and the mean distance for miles of low was significantly larger than for high. Okay. So low, this 3.14 distance was significantly greater than that moderate and high distances, but no other significant effects were found, which means that there was no difference between the moderate and the high uh, levels of fatigue with respect to distance. And that's how you conduct an ANOVA.